Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss briefly about most commonly used over the counter product for hair fall that is minoxidil. So what is minoxidil? Originally minoxidil was used for the treatment of high blood pressure as an antihypertensive drug. Incidentally it was found that it also helped in hair regrowth. So the development of topical solutions of minoxidil were started for the treatment of hair fall. So what are the uses of minoxidil? Minoxidil is a uh, FDA approved drug for the treatment of androgenetic alopecia or male pattern baldness. But there are certain off-label uh, uses of minoxidil as well. It can be used in various other alopecias like alopecia areata or scarring alopecia. It can also be used to increase uh, hair growth in certain parts of the body like for eyebrows and for beard. So how does minoxidil work? It is a potent vasodilator. So it increases the blood flow to the hair root and so it increases the hair um, regrowth and decreases the hair fall. It also increases the anagen phase or the growth phase of the hair cycle and decreases the catagen phase or telogen phase of the hair cycle. So what happens is that the existing hair which has been miniaturized or the thickness or the length of the hair that has not been increasing, it started increasing after the use of minoxidil. So the hair length as well as the hair thickness improves and what happens is that the dormant follicles which are present on the scalp, it also stimulate those dormant follicles and help in hair regrowth. So now coming to the dose of minoxidil and how to use it. So in market minoxidil is available in various concentrations like 2%, 5%, 10% and even 15%. And the recommended dose of minoxidil is 1 ml that has to be used twice daily over the dried hair and to be applied over the affected area. And it is very important to note that minoxidil has to be used indefinitely for a long period of time as a termination of the treatment can result in hair fall or hair shedding within 3 to 4 months. So why this happen? Because the growth of the hair follicle has been maintained by minoxidil. The uh, hair that has been maintained by minoxidil, the destiny of that hair was to fall. If you would not have used minoxidil, that hair would have fallen in a due period of time. So minoxidil is something which is acting like a food to that hair follicle. If you will stop that food supply to that hair follicle, it will definitely fall off. So coming to the side effects of minoxidil, as such there are no major side effects that are caused by the use of minoxidil. But yes, there are few uh, uh, side effects. The most common among them is contact dermatitis or you can say allergic reaction. Um, it usually present in a form of redness or um, itching scalp or uh, scaly scalp and it is because of the presence of PG or propylene glycol in minoxidil preparations. So uh, the best way to avoid is to stop uh, using PG uh, containing minoxidils. There are many PG free formulations present in a form of minoxidil foam that can be used. Other side effect of usage of minoxidil is hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis means increase in the uh, facial hair growth. So this happened mostly, this is seen mostly in female patients who are using minoxidil. So to prevent this, it is always advised to wash your hand after using minoxidil. So in the end, I would like to conclude by saying that minoxidil is one of the effective treatment for androgenetic alopecia. But yes, you need to be consistent with its use and you have to use it for long time.